Good day to everyone. Good day, Maculate Conception College of Arts and Technology uh, in Santa Maria, Bulacan. Uh, bago po tayo magsimula o umpisahan yung mismong uh, nakabigay na topic ko sa akin, uh, gusto ko muna pong pasalamatan. Uh, ang mismong head po ninyo, uh, si Attorney Normita Elvido, di ba? Also, si Professor Ria. M. Sabito po, your academic head, Oscar Jayco, uh, your dean of uh, ICI CTHM, and sa mga students na nakikinig ngayon, thank you so much for inviting me. Sa mismong uh, webinar na yung mismong name is Finding Your Wows, I walk through your dreams, and aspirations. Before I will tackle yung mismo nga naka-assign po sa akin na topic, which is a walkthrough on upscale dining, the world of fine dining restaurant, uh, let me, no, itour kayo sa mismong sino ba si Lester e. Ramirez. Share ko lang po yung screen ko sa inyo. So, si Sir Lester po, or me, ay graduate po ng uh, BSHRM sa Regina Carmeli noon. Eh, ngayon po, eh, ang name ng mismong school ngayon is uh, La Consolation College. Siguro, nagtataka ko kayo na I'm from Pampanga and then nakapag-aral po ako sa mismong uh, La Consolation College or URC noon because uh, kami po ay ang pinaka boundary po namin is Kalumpit that's why yun po ano, I had the opportunity na makapag-aral sa mismong URC noon eh ngayon po eh La Consolation College na Yan po sa mismo nakikita nyo, sa mismong uh, pictures, yan po ang naging career path ko or my journey. Bago po ako ngayon na dito, harap mo ninyo na naging speaker ko ninyo. Na naging trainer and assessor po ni Tesla. Ito po ang naging experience natin. Bago po ako nakapag-barko, Ako po ay naging uh, management trainee hanggang sa na-promote po tayong dining manager sa mismo Jollibee. After po noon, uh, plano ko po talaga is I want to go abroad talaga. Eh, alam na po na dati na talaga naman if uh, sinasabi na abroad, eh, talaga namang Uh, malaki makitaan. Pero ang gusto ko po talaga is I want to travel around the world or around the world for free. Which is nag-apply po ako noon sa mismong uh, pagbabarko or sa mga shipping companies. Unfortunately, nung nag-apply po ako eh, medyo it's a bad uh, thing na nangyari dahil di tayo na-hired kasi uh, nangangailangan po sila. Uh, they are in need or needing uh, experience po na at least two years experience ako po. So what I did is nag-resign ako kay Jollibee and naghanap po ako ng mismo hotel na mag- magkakaroon po ako ng experience para ma-follow po po yung mismong dream ko. Which is, nakakuha ko naman po na nakapag-apply po, no? uh, naging, oh, nagkaroon po ako ng experience sa mismong hotel, and then, ayun nga po, ano? uh, the rest is dire-diretso na. So, nung nakakuha po ako ng experience sa mismong hotel, ang ginawa ko po ito, ang ginawa ko po, Eh, dali-dali, nag-apply na po ako sa mga shipping company. 
which is nakapasok naman po tayo. Pero to tell you po, no, uh, a lot of struggles that I, I encountered bago po tayo uh, makapagtrabaho sa, sa mismong barko. Unang-unang struggle ko nung sa mismong interview na tinanong sa akin, this is a foreigner na bossing ko. Okay. Tinanong sa akin, oh, Mr. Ramirez, you don't have yet the experience na hinihingi natin. Uh, sa tingin mo, uh, ma-hire kita o i-hire kita? Sabihin mo sa akin na dapat i-hire kita. Sinabi ko naman po, no, sa mismong bossing kong yun, Sir, hindi pa po ba enough yung uh, work o pag-work ko kay Jollibee? And also, at least a one year experience in hotel. And sir, sinabi ko to, ha? Ito sinabi ko, mark this one. Uh, kung hindi nyo ako i-hire, paano naman po ako magkaka-experience? You know what happened? Yung mismong pananalita akong yun, ay eh, naging positive pa pala. At sinabi sa akin, ng mismong nag-interview na yun, alam mo, Lester, ikaw lang nagsalita sa akin ng ganun. Napakalakas na loob mo. Uh, gusto ko yung attitude mo. Well, sabi ko naman, I'm just being true to myself, sir. Yun ang sinabi ko. Kaya, ayun po. Ano, luckily, eh, nakuha natin ang mismong opportunity na yan. And, yun sa mismong uh, paghihintay na mismong vessel assignment, ang nangyari po nito is naging PA muna po ako. Opo, personal alalay. Okay? Na, yun po mismo nag-interview sa akin, yun po yung naging boss ko. Na talaga naman wala rin na humasabi doon na talaga na napakabait. At nung time, yung binigyan na ako ng vessel assignment, to tell you po, napakaganda na mismo binigay sa akin vessel assignment. Piruin mo, nasa US pa ako nun. Okay, o dinala ako sa US, sa yung barko, uh, sa mismo New Orleans, Louisiana. Which is, uh, hindi ko makakalimutan yung mismo unang-unang barko ko yun. Na masasabi ko, is talaga namang napaka sarap. Then, the rest is dire-diretsyo na po. Then, after po nung mismong experience po natin sa mismong uh, cruise ship, eh, medyo nagsawa ako sa mismong cruise ship. Uh, kasi po doon, sa mismong cruise ship, uh, mismong naging position po natin dyan, Yes, I was a uh, restaurant utility hanggang sa na-promote po tayong naging assistant waiter hanggang sa naging waiter. Na swak na swak no, yung mismong binigay sa akin topic na tungkol kay fine dining na marami ho ako ma relay okay, o masasabi sa mismong topic. Po. And then, yun nga ho, no? Uh, nagsawa tayo sa mismong cruise ship for 7 years then sabi ko try ko nga muna magkargo well dun po tayo magkargo okay so ito po yung magkakargo uh, natin sinuwerte po tayo dun sa mismong pagkakargo ko po ayan po no? eh unang uh, position po natin dyan na natrabaho is messman. Na-promote po tayong assistant ko. And pinopromote tayong chief ko kaya lang eh, hindi na tayo sumampa that time. And to tell you po, ano, uh, binigyan pa ako ng libre na pag-aaral sa isang culinary school which is saan din po ako ngayon nagpa-part time sa mismong ice cam. Uh, hawak ko po doon yung mismong food and beverage nila uh, D uh, Pampanga Quezon City at saka po Cebu so yan po ang mismong journey natin sa mismong pagkakargo 
uh, I work there for two years, yeah, two years. Kasi entire experience ko is, uh, I think, nine years, hindi ako nagkakamali. Yeah, nine years, okay. So, doon, no, uh, nag-isip-isip na ako. Sabi ko, lumalaki na yung mga bata. So, tapos kapag tuwing umuwi ako, iba yung mismong uh, approach nila sa akin. Parang ayaw kaya tato. So, nag-isip ako. Ano kaya ang outlet para makapagstay ako sa Pilipinas? Doon, nakita ko si Tesla. Kay Tesla po, sigurado yung mga features po natin ngayon, they are aware siguro sa mismong tinatawag po na trainers methodology level 1 ng mismo Tesla. Ito pong PM na to, ito po yung uh, magiging susi para makapagpuro po kayo uh, sa mismong tech po. So, yun po. Nakakuha natin yung mismong uh, PM1. Luckily, we pass, take one. And the rest is dire-direcho na po. That's why, ito po ako ngayon, sa so, mismong harap po ninyo, na nagiging o oh, speaker po ninyo. So, yan po ang mismong mga journey ko na nangyari sa mismo career ko. Hanggang yan nga ho, ano, ang sarap tignan na yan po. Nakikita mo yung mga estudyante mo na napatuto mo, uh, nakuha nila yung mismong skills na binigay mo sa kanila at to tell you po, ano, they are uh, excelling, ano, hindi lang po dito sa atin, but also sa abroad. Na wala akong Walang katumbas na saya na makikita mo yung mismong mga estudyante mo ganyan. Also, ako po ay licensed coach din po na uh, samahan ng basketballista ng Pilipinas. So, yan po ang mismong journey ng karir ko. Now, Discuss na po natin yung mismong uh, naka-assign na topic sa atin. Allow me to present my PowerPoint presentation. Beginning. I walk through an upscale dining. The world of fine dining restaurant. Of course, by me, Pastor A. Ramirez. Kapag pinag-uusapan ang mismong fine dining, madami ang pumapasok sa isip natin. Kapag fine dining, sinabi natin ito yung mga sosyalan. Which is true. Yun yung mismong sosyalan na pagkain na nakikita ko ninyo sa mismong screen ninyo. Fine dining refers to a restaurant experience that is of a higher quality and greater formality. So, swak not swak po, no? Sa mismong uh, sinabi ko kanina, na when you talk about fine dining, ito yung talaga namang social na pag, uh, pagkain, na yung mismong uh, mga chef dito, eh, hindi pipitsugin, na talaga naman, uh, they will, no? Uh, showcase uh, their expertise in culinary. And of course, not only the chef ang uh, mismong ma- malulupit dito or world class talaga. Also, the server. Uh, dyan, makikita nyo din na talaga namang pulidong pulido, suwabe suwabe ang mismong pag sa servisyo. Pero, meron tayong tinatawag na five types of fine dining. Different types of uh, dining appeal to different customers. The types differ in menu, prices, decor, type of food serve, and uh, weight serve. So, ano pong ibig sabihin nito? Kasi, when you talk about 
dining, sa fine dining. Uh, iba ho yun eh. When you talk, you talk about dining, meron tayong tinatawag na casual na dining. Yung saktuhan lang. Pero pag sinabi natin fine dining, eh talaga naman, yung sinabi ko sa inyo, talaga naman napakamahal, napaka-elegante na mismong pagsiservisyo dyan. We have five types to include the fine dining restaurant, the team restaurants, casual dining restaurants, quick service restaurants, and catering services. So, yan po yung mismo sinasabi natin na five types of fine dining. Fine dining has an environment with the excellent food, elegant decor, and a superior service. And customers willing to pay top prices for meal. Some are famous for chef exceptional culinary skills, other known for specific location. So, sa mismo binasa ho natin na yan, ayun na, sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, na ang mga chef talaga dyan, eh talaga namang magagaling, at talagang masya-showcase nyo, o masya-showcase, o sina-showcase nila, sa mismong, kinakain nyo or sa mismong plate yung mismong kagalingan ng mga chef dyan. And of course, yun nga, nakalagay pa dyan sa superior service. Aralaan nyo maintindihan. Allow me to show ano yung uh, sinasabi natin dito. No? Na fine dining. I will go with the YouTube para Makita nyo, okay, yung uh, itsura, ano ba yung sinasabi natin, fine dining. So, check this one. Ito, ito, ito. Uh, it's a vlog. Okay. Uh, I want to forward it. Okay, forward lang natin. So, talagang kita mo talaga, no? Nagso talaga siya ng formal. Kasi fine dining. Okay. Forward. So, check the ambience of the fine dining. So, yan po yung mismo sinasabi ho natin na talaga namang one of the finest when you talk about fine dining. Yes, the restaurant, check the menu. Na sa mismo menu, napakamahal, oh. Check. No? So, mahal siya. Wine siya, 1,400. No? Forward, check the expertise of the chef here. Tayo, di tayo mabubusog dyan, no? Okay, pero sa marunong talaga kumain sa fine dining, they will going to appreciate it. Okay. So, forward. So, yan yung sinasabi natin. Sosyalan. Okay. So, yan. Okay. Check the food. Okay. So, again, hindi ko na to. So, uh, ginawa ko dun ho. Ano? Uh, pinakita ko lang. Ano po ba si fine dining? Okay. Now, let's talk about theme. Tries to recreate another place or time. Uh, pwede. Sports memorabilia. Ang mismong tema mo. Na, yun nga. F1 race, basketball, tennis, Okay, that's uh, what you call another kind of dining. And uh, simulated rainforest. Uh, food is less important than the decor. Food may be related to the theme. Uh, moderately priced menu. 
So, in short, no, na yung mismong team dining, eh, uh, they complement eh, sa mismong tema ng mismong uh, masasabi nating uh, what do you call this one? Uh, they complement sa mismong tema ng team, ng, 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 team. just for example uh, Jamaican well, of course, ang mga nakalagay na mga pagkain dyan is uh, pang Jamaicans no? so, yan yung mismo sinasabi natin no? next we talk about casual dining it's attract people who like to eat out but not interested in a formal atmosphere or high prices. Ito yung saktuhan na hindi ganun kataasan yung mismo mga kainan dito. Uh, relaxed environment, uh, mid-range prices, uh, can have a team or the example is the Hard Rock Cafe. Includes, meron to ah, family style, neighborhood, grill buffets, uh, vending machines. That's what you call the casual dining. Let's talk about family service. When talk about family service, uh, food is delivered on large platter or dish to individual uh, table. Customers serve themselves fast food around the table. And the advantage of this one uh, allows customer to choose own portion or sizes. Uh, free to take second serving. And the disadvantage of this one is a large amount of food waste lacks personalized service. Kasi ito, madali yan ito eh. Hindi ka mo, ano kay formal uh, uh, or fine dining na pinakita kong video kanina, dito sa mismong kainan dito, mabilisan. No? Ilalapag lang siya, then okay na yun. No? Uh, that's what, why we call casual fine dining. Then, we have uh, neighborhood, popular types, okay, o sa mga ano, kapit-kapit bahay natin yan. Yun yung sinasabi nating another casual point dining. And a good example of this one is, na-invite ka ng isang kaibigan. Uh, masasabi natin, libu, wedding, etc. That's what you call neighborhood. Uh, popular types are lunch counters. or coffee shops, no? And then, ito pa. Food is simple, inexpensive, and then, uh, generous portions. And, uh, convenient and friendly. Okay? So, yun yung mismo sinasabi natin na neighborhood, casual, and next, we have the grills and buffets. Okay? A self-service meals at budget prices offer all You can uh, eat specials, tray line service, and then uh, the customer go through food line and placing items on own trays. Counter service uh, means to say customer sitting at a counter rather than at a booth or table. So that's the example of casual uh, dining. the grills and buffet na yan nga, sa places din ninyo, ninyo sa mismo Bulacan, labas ka nang dyan meron ka na makita ang grill no? uh, mga buffets na mga restaurants uh, that's what you call casual dining quick service known as fast food, dyan pumapasok si Jollibee, si Chow King uh, Inasal uh, McDonald's, etc. Okay? largest section of food service industry Limited menus, low prices, speedy service, food prepared using exact standards, and factory light production. So, yan po ang quick service. So, nakikita nyo, sa mismo din i-discuss natin, napakalawak pala ng mismong fine dining o dining. No? Merong fine dining, merong casual dining. Let's talk about catering services. Catering services, growing segment of food service industry. Ito yung, ingat, pag may mga weddings, birthday, debut, or etc. 
kapatid at pumapasok si catering services. And anyone, no, basta meron kang kapital and marunong kang magluto and then you have uh, people when you can have your catering services. Caterer purchases, uh, receives, stores, prepare, cooks, delivers, and serves food to customer in another location. In short, for example, gusto nila sa isang gym. So, si catering services, ang gagawin niyan, siyempre, uh, ayusin lahat ng gamit, tables, chairs, uh, mga decors, setup, etc., etc. So, that's what you call the customer or the catering services. Meals vary in size, include contract food service, airline, meals, hotel and motel restaurants, and uh, cruise ship menu. So, isa-isay natin yan. Contract food service for a management fee. Food service contractor will provide food beverage service for organizations. So, for example, the schools, business, hospitals, nursing, and the homes. So, yan po ang uh, contract food service. Saves money for organization. Meals can be prepared on site. And uh, management of food service is not run by the organization. So, that's yun yung po yung sinasabi natin na contract food service. Now, let's talk about airline meals. It is a limited by store needs and uh, transportation uh, may offer one or more full meals or just snack and beverage uh, prepared in a commissary where food is purchased and prepared uh, then delivered to airplanes. Special meals, that's the vegetarian, low-fat requests can be ordered in advance. Or in short, when talk about airline, ito na yung sa best mong aeroplano. Uh, diba kapag, uh, yun nga, uh, uh, already experienced this, no? uh, meron din uh, tinatawag na kainan o what you call dining sa mismong airplane. Siyempre, you are traveling sa mismo, no? napakatagal na travel yan. Just for example, going to Manila to US, matagal na travel yan. Or in short, baka yung mismo flight mo pa is connecting flight. No? So, meron silang mga meal dyan sa mismong airplane. Okay? Next, hotel, motels, restaurant. Yan. No? Uh, offer long service hours. Most serve 3 meals uh, per day, 7 days per week. Uh, labor costs are high, especially with room service. So, sa mismong pinagtrabuhan ko, no? sa mismong hotel, may, sa mismong holiday inn, meron kaming mga res, uh, what calls one? Uh, restaurants doon. Meron kaming team restaurants. No? Uh, I still remember sa mismong taas. No? We have the Brazilian restaurant doon. And then sa baba, that's the, what you call the Rodizio, no? na It's a Filipino style. No? of restaurants of free. So, yan yung sinasabi natin. Also, yung mismo mga hotels, meron din silang mga restaurants or they are offering dining. And, uh, of course, masasabi ko dito, mahal, syempre, hotel. No? Di kumpara sa mismo sinabi ko kanina na mga fast foods, yan. Ano, mga mura lang yung mga yan. Okay? So, yan, ang mismong different kinds of fine dining and restaurants na makikita nyo. Na nakita nyo, meron pala no, sa mismong airline, good kay airline, sa hotel. Okay? And meron tayo tinatawag na catering service. Okay? So, types of meal service. Ito. Okay? Which is kami, no? Kay Tesla. When you will go on the food and beverage services no uh, if you will undergo the assessment o baka meron sa inyo na nakapag assessment na ng food and beverage uh, meron talagang part doon sa mismong assessment na magpapa-setup si assessor 
uh, what's the purpose of that one? Kasi based on my experience, no, when I was working in a cruise ship, kasi doon, no, ang ginagawa namin service doon, meron kaming American service, meron kaming French service, saka Russian service. Uh, sa mismong topic natin nito, i-discuss kayo mo ngayon. Okay. Types of meal service. Uh, include modern American plated, boot, family style, banquet, classical French, Russian English, and butler, and uh, we have a buffet service. Let's talk about modern American plated. This one is began in U.S. Now, used worldwide. Requires few less extensive trained service staff. Give chef complete control over the preparation or portioning of, of the presentation of food. The food is completely prepared in the kitchen. And the guidelines of this one is uh, you need to serve the beverage, soup for from customers to right, move clockwise to the next, then serve solid foods from left, uh, move counterclockwise, uh, clear dishes from right, and uh, completely serve clear one guest before moving to the next. Or in short, ito mismo modern American plated na to. Ito yung sa lahat ng mga servisyo na, na, na gawa ko when I was a waiter. No? Ilalapag mo lang yung mismong plate. No? It's by course. Na, of course, when you start sa appetizer, soup, salad, main course, and dessert. Basta lapag mo lang yan. Basta alam mo lang yung proper positioning kapag uh, you are uh, introducing the food and then basing, mayroong proper position yan eh. Again, it depends no, sa mismong uh, uh, saan kayo no, o ano yung mismong standard ng mismong establishment. Let's talk about boot. Boot is a customer served from single focal point. The guidelines, customers on right serve from left and left hand. Customers on left serve from right with right hand. Serves back of boot first, then clear soil the table uh, where first from customer and then seated closest to the back and beverage service keep tray in the left hand and then serve with the right hand keep hands as close to table level as possible and then place items on table to avoid handing items to the customer that's uh, the boot and we have the service or the family service. Uh, food delivered on larger or large plate, uh, platter or dish to individual table. And then, malaki eh. Kaya, tinawag, tinawag ito family. Kasi nandun na lahat. Okay? And then, customers serve themselves pass for around the table. Or, minsan yung mismong table, meron tayong tinatawag na lazy susan. Uh, or nalagay lahat doon. Then, yun, may ikot na lang. Okay. So, advantage of this one is allows customers to choose own portion sizes, free to take second serving. Yung mga matatakaw, ayan, it's good for that. that this, this service is good. And then, disadvantage, large amount of food waste no? lacks personalized service. Kasi wala magsaservice dyan. Nakalapag na lahat dyan eh. Bahala na si guest yung mismo kukuha sa mismo pagkain niya. Okay. So, that's family service. And then we have the banquet service, uh, types of seating arrangement in which customers are seated facing server with back uh, against the wall, against wall. Guidelines, uh, treat both ends of the focal uh, points, serve one side at a time. If more than four people serve each end of the table as you would a boat. Whole beverage tray. In left hand, serve with right hand, and then stand with right hip close to the table. So, that's the banquet. Okay? Na ako, yan. Yan yung mismong naging trabaho ko. Yung still remember, nung kinikwento ko yung mismong journey ko, na nag-resign ako kay Jollibee as a manager. Uh, yan yung mismo naging trabaho ko. Naging banquet waiter ako. To tell you, napakahirap ng banquet waiter kasi... 
uh, parang nakikita rin ka rin dyan na buhat ka ng uh, stage, ng dancing floor, set up ka, uh, and then uh, yung mismong arrangement pa. no So, yan. Yung mismong banquet service. Okay? Then, we have the French service. Uh, the team is captain is uh, responsible for supervising, organizing all uh, aspect of service in his or her station. And the uh, front waiter, siya yung nag assist kay captain when serving food and should be able to perform duties of captain in her or his absence. And then back waiter or the runner uh, brings all food from the kitchen area to the service area. And then the buzzer serves bread, butter, water, clears dishes, and then clean table after customer have left. Another classical uh, French service, uh, most elegant and elaborate system or style of service. In short, talaga namang meticuloso, eleganting elegante, no? kakaiba. First class, no? Uh, important element, okay? Some foods are fully or partially presented or prepared in the table side. Requires more time and labor. Servers must be high-skilled. Uh, uses team systems with each member having specific duty. Which is, ito ah, a French restaurant ako when I was working in a cruise ship. Alam nga dito, napaka-pagod, no? Kasi dito sa mismo friends service na to, is a showmanship eh. Na meron kang giri doon, cart doon, or a cart na sa mismong cart na yon na partially cook na yung mismong pagkain na you being as a waiter, ikaw mismo yung mismo magluluto. Okay, lulutuin mo yan sa mismong harap ng guest. And then, dun mo siya isa-serve. Basta kada serve kay guest, papakita mo how you cook it. Yung so, yung gumagawa niyan, head waiter, the chef, okay, me, ako nang uh, ginawa ko yan, ah, buto talaga tayo, okay, and that's the fresh bath, when you talk about tippings, napakalakas, no, and then we have the Russian and English service, uh, the guidelines here, uh, servers have a clean service napkin or towel, uh, drop over left forearm, platter held in left hand, and then service, Always moves counterclockwise. And empty plates. So, bows place in front of the customer from right side. And then, items served with the right hand from customers and uh, left. Serving set is used to transfer food from platter to customer plate. And all items move from the table with server's right hand from the uh, customers right or in short uh, ang Russian service or English meron ka silver platter dyan no? nandun lahat yung mismong mga pagkain and then na iaano mo sa mismong uh, plate ni guest mo na kaayusin mo yan no? kulang na lang eh, isubo mo kay guest no? so that's what you call the Russian or English service di nakalagay dito uh, ang other name yan is silver platter service. Ayan. Use in internationally, ideal for banquets, where everyone is eating the same meal, each course completely prepared, cooked, portioned, and garnished in kitchen. Then, place on service plate or platters, each customer is served a portion from platter. You know, mismo ilalapag mo, ilalagay mo sa mismo plate ni customer. And then serve from uh, left using utensils held in server's right hand. And then two different servers. One for entry, other for rest of meal. So that's what you call the Russian or the English service. Now, when you talk about butler, ito, ito yung mismong um, uh, napaka-crucial din, napaka-hirap din na work. No? Butler service. A server carries a prepared food or silver tray to standing or seated customer. Customer serves selves from tray. 
uh, efficient and cost effective way to serve the bite sized foods to a large number of people but no control over how much food is eaten uh, or how it is presented on plate. Often used to serve uh, horse day of your. Yung horse day of your, ito yung sinasabi nating uh, appetizer. Okay? Guidelines. Each course uh, presented on platter from left side or customer uh, can be very formal style of service. Requires patience on part of server since they must wait until each customer is finished before moving on. That's the butler and buffet service. All food is attractively displayed on table. Customers free to move among the displays of food. Choose what they want to serve so. In most customers may return to get more food as often as they wish. Hot foods place in shopping dishes must get new plate each time they return to line warm or chilled plates kept at one end of the buffet advantages low labor cost wide selection of food cost effective for customers a disadvantage large amount of food waste guests may not receive timely table service. That's the buffet. So we have different types of buffet. Self-service buffet. Yung mismong, ikaw na mismo maglalagay sa mismo pagkain mo. Customer serve self includes appetizer, entries, salad, desserts, ano, and beverages. Stop service. Yun, meron mismo magsiserve sa'yo. Siya mismo magpuportion. Customer point out their choice but serve by member of staff. Okay. Some uh, items prepared to order, uh, prepared trays of food are kept filled. And then mixed service. Some stations offer soft service. And then we have salad, accompaniment of or, or dessert. Other stations, the carving station, uh, offer staff service. So, yun po ang uh, three types buffet. Thank you so much. That's uh, my uh, learning about the fine dining na nakita nyo. No? Papaano ba si fine dining ngayon? Para lalo nyo maintindihan, no? pakita ko yung mga different kinds of setup. Okay? Uh, share ko yung screen ko. Sure ko. Okay. Ito tayo kay Google, no? Pakita ko yung different kinds of setup para lalo yung maintindihan. So, American setup. So, nakikita nyo, ayan, no? ayan ang mismo pinatawag nating formal American setup. To tell you, iba't iba, no, ng mga, what they call this one, uh, ginagawa, no, ng mga setup. Okay? Just for example, this one, no, ayan. Ayan. Okay. So, yung mismong setup na yan, again, it depends, no? Sa mismong uh, uh, restaurant, kung ano yung mismo standard nila. Kasi kanya, kanya ng standard dyan, ng style. Pero, parehas lang. Kasi ito, check. This is uh, the show plate. This is the uh, main course. Okay? Main course uh, knife. And then, main course and then we have here the salad knife and salad fork and this one is kung Asian no? ayan nakalagay 
yung mismong uh, spoon and the fork. If uh, hindi naman gagamitin yung mga yan, ginagamit, ginagawa, tinatanggal yan. Siyempre, ano yung use ng mismong uh, cutleries na yan? Bakit nakaset up sa mismong mesa? So, yan po, ano? Ang mismong uh, American setup. Marami po eh. Check nyo pa. Pakita ko pa. So, other than that, so, ito naman, no? Ang daming setup to tell you. Ayan. Okay, ang daming setup. Oh, this is a soup spoon. Okay? So, yan yung karaniwan na ma-encounter ninyo. And this uh, kind of setup is the, what you call the American setup. Then, we have the Russia. Yan naman ang mismo ma- eh, encounter ninyo sa assessment kung magpapa-assessment kayo sa mismong full and full range. Russian setup. So, yan po yung Russian setup. Ayan, oh. Okay, check. Ang daming ano, plates, no? Tignan nyo pa ito. Another Russian setup. Ang daming patong-patong. Okay. So, again, it depends, no? Sa mismong uh, establishment kung ano yung mismong setup. So, itong mga to, uh, mga dito na to, yeah, na ginawa, isa test the standard na to. Okay. So, yan. So, that's the fine dining. And lastly, the French. Meron na ibang setup na naman din yan. So, that's the French. set up. Yan. Okay. So, yan ang mismong mundo ng fine dining. No? Na may iba't iba ng uh, service na ibibigay sa inyo. Uh, maraming klase ng fine dining. Okay. Yan. Stop ko na yung sharing. Okay. So, again, thank you so much po sa mismong uh, pag-invite po sa akin. No? Uh, very much appreciated po yan sa mismong uh, bottom of my heart. Okay, salamat po. At uh, sana, no? uh, nabigyan ko kayo ng uh, idea no? or knowledge about may fine dining. And if you want, uh, for those uh, who wants to go sa mismong uh, Testa, well, si Testa po, ano, marami po kaming ino-offer na mga uh, scholarship po dyan. Ito ko lang po siya. Okay. So, ito po yung mga scholarship. No? So, share ko sa inyo. Let your screen. Yet I'm not sure. Okay. Share for that. Para maging aware lang ho. No? Kaya, ito. Share ko sa screen natin. Okay. Kita na po ba? Yun. Slide ko lang siya. Yan po. Uh, sa test na po, marami po kaming scholarship na ina-offer. Uh, we have the WACPEA or what you call the universal uh, access to tertiary education. And then we have the private education uh, student Uh, financial assistance or what we call the PESPA another scholarship po yan, pangalawang scholarship and then third scholarship special training for employment program and yeah, TWSP the training for work scholarship program so with this scholarship uh, si TESDA po no? uh, binibigyan kayo ng 160 allowance no? not even a centavo Uh, gagasas kayo dito. Wala kayong gagasin dito. 
and bibigyan ko pa amin ang mismong uh, toolkit no and then meron pang internet allowance and meron pang insurance at marami pang benefits so yun po yung skate test na okay so yun po again uh, pinahapyaw ko lang para makita niya po ano po yung mismong in-offer namin skate test na thank you so much po and have a great day.